to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. The 63rd Annual Grammy Awards went down last night, hosted by Trevor Noah from the Los Angeles Convention Center, just across the street from the awards' usual home at the Staples Center. Uh, no audience for the Grammys this year. Um, and we'll go through some of uh, the big winners of the night. So I just want to say, sidebar, sorry, Laura, to mess with your flow. What? That production with no audience and how they moved around and had the artists watch the other artists perform. And then when they did the awards with like the a few artists in the room sitting at tables and that whole business. They might have to keep some of this. It's true. Some of it was tight. I'll tell you what we didn't need, though, was the laugh track for Trevor Noah's monologue. <laughs> there was a laugh track? Yeah, you couldn't hear that? It was like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. Yeah, no. It was, there was, <laughs> and it wasn't the laughing in the room because there were like eight tables. Right, 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 right. That part drove me nuts. I was like, laugh uh, tracks, guys? Come on. All right, sorry, Laura. All right, ahead. so uh, Beyonce broke the record for the most Grammy wins ever by a female artist. Mm. Uh, 28 Grammys. The queen. Shh. She the king. Killed it, the queen. Okay. Most Grammys. Yo, and that's the only it. reason she showed up. Because y'all know Beyonce still mad that the Grammys gave that award to let. Uh, what was her name? What's that lady's name? Adele. Adele. Yes. Are you still mad about that? I don't know if she's still mad about that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they gave anyway. Adele album of the year over Beyonce that year. She ain't been back yeah. since. Yes, yes, yes. And Adele dedicated her album to her. I remember all that. Um, also, Blue Ivy won a Grammy last night. And that's why they showed up to support their daughter. Which well, and what about Megan? Megan? I think that and was yes. just, that was that was added. Like, Megan, oh, Megan too? Yeah, we'll support her too. Oh, gosh. But if it would have just been, if it would have just been, hey, we want to give Beyonce an award, she wouldn't have been there. She showed up for Blue and Megan. Megan Thee Stallion won Best New Artist and Best Rap Performance for Savage Remix with Beyonce. So it was just dope to see them uh, go on stage and Megan's speech and thanking Beyonce. It was super dope. Also, uh, Nas finally won a Grammy. He won for Best Rap Album for King's Disease. First Grammy. First Grammy. Nas first Grammy. NAS. Congrats, man. Queens. He's also, been nominated 14 times prior to this, y'all. Wow. wow. Nuts. Nuts. John Legend won for Best R&B Album for Bigger Love. Record of the Year went to Billie Eilish. Everything I Wanted. She dedicated her award to Megan Thee Stallion. She felt that Megan um, had the biggest year. And uh, the song of the year was I Can't Breathe, Her. I Can't Breathe is a great song. Um, and... I love Billie Eilish. I'm not like deep into her music, but my, my girl's a big fan, and so I've gotten to really appreciate how brilliant she is. But calm down. You don't. Not everyone needs to give their award away to someone else to seem like they're doing the right thing. Like it wasn't like Megan had a night last night where she was snubbed. She was best new artist and won two rap categories. You just want to find a reason to yell at Billie Eilish. No, please. I love Billie Eilish. I'm not yelling at you, Billie Eilish. <laughs> but I just don't think everyone has to get up there and be like, I don't deserve this. Just re- You won the award. She won it back-to-back years, by the way. You're like, just take the award. Like, take the award and now be the, happy. No the one most needs to annoying, The most annoying. I'm, I'm annoyed by it, but I'm also, there's another reason I'm happy. I, I have, I'm 50-50 on it. Y'all know Taylor Swift won again, right? For album of the year. Isn't this her third one? The third time. This is, she's the first person I think to ever do this. Okay, we need or to calm. definitely the first woman. I like Taylor Swift. She's pretty good. Can we calm down? That's a lot. For considering Nas won his first. And I'm sorry, I don't I, I don't I don't care if it's different categories. You could still say Can I just keep it real? The winners are whatever to me. To me, the Grammys are about the nominations. I believe the win in the Grammys is being nominated, and that's where you see awesome artists getting nominated. Right. The wins are cool. But let's be real. The wins rarely reflect the categories truly. Like, sometimes it hits and it's both. You get a Lauren Hill where, like, yes, it made sense that she won everything. But there are years when one person wins every single category and they're not the best in every category. So to me, what I love about the Grammys is the diversity of of nominees. But the winners, I don't know that I would agree with any of the winners I saw last night. Well, I'll say this. I loved Black is King winning. Beyonce won for that. I love Lil Baby's performance with Tamika Mallory and Killer Mike. I love her 
completely being shocked that her song, um, I Can't Breathe, which was about the activism last year, won. And Anderson Pack won for his song Lockdown, which was a an, an ode to activism and everything being locked down due to COVID and activism and everything happening during COVID last summer. And he won for that song. I'm noticing a theme about who did well last night. Mm-hmm. For the, uh, if you put out a song about something, it really did well last night. Well, and then Lil Baby's performance, like I said, that Lil was Baby's nominated. performance. Bigger Picture was nominated. And it was I, nominated. To me, that was probably the win. That To me, that should have been the win. I think I think the Bigger Picture was the rap song. Of well, the because year. once again, I think it needs to be reiterated because people forget the Grammys, like the Tonys and the Oscars, are voted on by an organization, not by the public. And so the organization that represents hip hop or that represents country or, you know, whatever within this Grammy is the ones that are picking these nominees and voting the the entire organization only votes on what are, what are the main ones? Song of the year, album of the year, record of the year, yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. Probably. I think the three. whole, or that best everybody, be, right. yeah, I think everybody votes on those categories. But it. the specific voting within the genres is only done by other artists and people who are registered in the Grammys that are makers or, you know, do business around that category. There was also some great performances last night. Cardi B and Megan performed WAP on a ginormous bed. Yo, strip clubs worldwide. Find the company <laughs> that built that stage bed thing for them. Run that play. Yo, one of my favorites was uh, Anderson Pack and Bruno Mars. When, uh, Talk to him. Silk Sonic, baby. But listen, when they honored Little Richard, that was that dope. Too. That too. That was so dope. My that question too. about Silk Sonic is, how is it that when Bruno Mars dressed up as Little Richard, it was less of a Halloween costume than just the Silk Sonic performance. Right. He was more dressed up when he was Bruno Mars than he was as Little Richard. (laughs) Yo, but they crushed it. That performance sounded incredible. They crushed the Little Richard. They crushed the Silk Sonic. I want y'all to go back. There was a performance that I think, y'all, everybody wasn't on Bruno Mars yet. Back, I want to say 2014, I think it was a Bob Marley tribute. It was Bruno Mars, Rihanna, and Damian Marley up there at the Grammys. Yeah, that was fun. It is so phenomenal. This Bruno Mars guy, but I keep trying to tell y'all. I'm glad I put y'all on. Thank you. <laughs> when Bruno Mars did that, was he dressed up like was he wearing like a, ja- a Jamaica soccer? Was jersey? he wearing a roster wig? No, a roster. <laughs> no, he's not that. He's not that. He's not that guy. 